Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Was threat at the gambling house when he got shot at by Kel? Young, you say nothing. I say can be used against me. That's right. Me and Threat shot up Rich on the corner there at the barber shop on Bankhead. I don't know what happened with Threat and Rich on the corner, but I'm gonna ride with my brother. And they was beefing. And yeah, we pulled up and did that. Okay. <clears throat> and as a result of why did you and Threat shoot up Rich on the corner at his barber shop? Because I'm a ride with Threat. Okay. Did Threat tell you why he was shooting? I don't ask no question. I just said let go. Okay. Jay didn't get on stand and say, you put another name in the midst because you knew they weren't going to do nothing to him. Obviously, they did something to him, brother. He's in jail now, and you're free. Bitch ass, they don't give you no right to tell on no nutter. Ain't got nothing to do with it. Then they was locking your ass up, not nobody else. You was getting locked up for the shit that you did. You don't go tell on no nutter, man. Talking about what you thought they were going to do and this, that, and the third, bro. What type of street is you, man? Man, y'all folk bad. Shawty, you a bogus. Boy, I don't give a damn what you tell me. I appreciate you for going up there trying to recant and all that. But it's too late for all that. You knew what you were doing. I'm trying to switch your story right now. Rant. Gone. Okay, bet. Wow, wow. Hey, man, listen, man. Check it, man. Tapping back in. We talked about this briefly yesterday. And Mundo, he is very upset about what my boy Woody done did, man. Woody is living his best life, you know, jumping on, the, uh, he's on, in court, off the, off court, going back over into the hood, going, getting on podcast. This is what he's doing. So at the end of the day, uh, a lot of people from YSL, they're not happy with it. They're trying to understand what is his driving issue. Why would he go snitching? And Mundo like, man, you done told it on somebody else. And you talking about it, acting like it didn't hurt him, but he in jail now. Young Thug's in jail. So at the end of the day, man, a lot of times people's looking at this, looking at Woody like, man, you corny for doing this. And so, you know, we talked about it yesterday, me and OG Paru. So I got my boy Ayatollah Mar back on the line today and we about to get all the way into it. And, and, and OG, you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. What's going on with you this morning, boss talk? What's going on, man? So this guy, uh, Mundo, came out, and yesterday when you was talking about it, what, 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 you thought he was somebody else? It, oh, man, look, I feel, just like he said about Woody, I feel kind of like Woody right now with some fucking misinformation. When I, when I got the call about the co-founder, uh, I'm not I don't I'm not looking at my paperwork. I'm doing something else. So I'm talking off the fly and I'm crossing Mondo up with uh, Walter Murphy. But well, I heard I didn't know it was five. It's five of them. It's five of them. So it would be easy to do something like that. So you're saying you're per I, I, and reading the transcript. They have Walter Murphy as the co-founder. I thought the co-founder was Walter Murphy and Young Thug. I thought it was just those two. But Mondo, his name is uh, Fermando uh, Crenshaw. He's not involved in the in the uh, um, in the indictment. So he's not the part of the RICO at all. He's not involved in it at all. His name it, his name don't come up on none of the paperwork, but he was represented by Fannie Willis, the head prosecutor. I seen that. You did mention something about Fannie. He was right. Yeah, Fannie Willis, she, that's why she's not on the case because she represented Mondo on a case in 2019, you know, and uh, he went on a program talking about it and had it up on the uh on the internet they end up taking it down but it's just like a bullet once it's out there now what i said about mondo yesterday about him taking it 10 years it wasn't him it was the boy walter murphy okay but now i would shot that out there if somebody had went and and, and dumped on that guy i would have felt like a mother because i i didn't i didn't say something that was in total error 
and I apologize to brother. You know, I whatever my apology, I don't want to be no whack one under say a gang of boss. <laughs> I feel like boss talk is a reputable podcast, and we try to say some legit. But we try to get we try to get it right. We try to make sure we get it right. So you saying this Mondo guy? I wonder why. You know, with everybody else, maybe. Fanny knew it. if I indict him, this can mess the case up, so we're going to let him not be a part of it. I don't know. You know, like, he represented, she represented him, and she had to get up off the case of actively being in the courtroom of YSL because she had represented one of the uh, co-founders of YSL. And I thought it was the boy Walter Murphy, but it ended up being Mondo, right? Yes. So... Uh, uh, I just I just wanted to, to straighten the record up. That's why I try to stay in Compton business. Where I what about Woody though? Woody uh, Woody Woody is out here doing the, the most. Is Woody gonna get? Uh, Woody is, is totally not gonna be put in jail for anything he's saying, as long as he don't commit to some new crime, right? As long as he don't, they didn't told him he could say anything he wanted to say, as long as he don't say he killed nothing. Okay, so he basically say whatever. He brings that up. Do so. Mundo have a right to feel a type of way because Woody keeps getting on stand trying to act as if. You know, uh, he's saying like, bro, everything that you doing, um, you you know, you just went in and did some some stuff that was like uncalled for. Nine hours of testimony. You walked in the police station and confessed to all of this, and I, I appreciate you for trying to go and straighten it out, but. It's just like a bullet. It's already there now. You're right. You're right. It's already there, and the paperwork's being signed, and other people are being uh, brought up. And what about what you were saying yesterday? Even though these guys are talking, will Gunna end up having to come back to court, or, or is he pretty much done with? And that's a, that's the thing that, that that Mondo brought up in another interview about Gunna taking the deal, and when Gunna took the deal and got. Uh, community service he's abided by uh, the courts to come back to court to say what he took a deal for and when him and Walter Murphy come in there Walter Murphy got 10 years and got suspended sentence and 9 years on probation he's going to have to come into court and tell them that he took a RICO act under the Georgia state line and that implicates Young Thug, and all they need is two overt acts to convict him. Wow. Wow. Two overt acts to convict Just him. Just two overt acts, and that, and that, that, that entails him in the conspiracy. So you see, you see, you see, you see. What, with the car, that he rented the car when the shooting took place. They got the paperwork on that. They got the testimony from, from uh, Woody. Now, when somebody else come in and, and, and substantiate that that was the car, and when they say that he was a part of YSL and YSL was a gang, that, that gives him a life sentence. Wow, man. I, I, I want to see Young Thug come up out of this thing, man. I, I, I sure hope Granville gave him, gave him an opportunity for a, 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 a reversal uh, if they do convict him under that in-camera hearing when they did the... Uh, 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 did the hearing that that's a good uh, that's a good motion for appeal but uh, they gonna try to they gonna nail him in and Woody is not the star witness he's a star but he, he definitely a star he's just not the star witness he's a star but he's not he's just like Charlie he like he like Jimmy the Cricket boy he he got your interest that man doing millions yeah, yeah, yeah. He got everybody watching, man. So we'll wait and check the case out today. This is this is the third one that we've done uh, on on this. And basically, you saying Mundo pretty much was cleared of all charges. He didn't even get indicted or nothing for the RICO charge. But Woody and Gunner uh, and uh, the other guy that you, I don't, you know, whatever his name was, Walter Murphy. Walter Murphy. It's, it's all it's 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 Gunner, Walter Murphy. Um, let me see. Um, Trayvonis, Tick, Stevens, and Antonio, Obama, Sterling, uh, Sledge, and Stephen, and, and Stephen Stevenson. 
uh, must they they they're gonna testify. Wow. Six is six other that took a took a deal for no jail time out of the twenty eight. It's uh, Gunner, Murphy, and six others that took a deal that's potentially going to be witnesses in this case. Man, thank you so much, OG, for clearing that up. Man, uh, guys, make sure you guys get in the comments, man. You sure, you heard what OG said. OG came back. And we talked about Mundo, so it's, it's, it's definitely uh, something that we... We basically had to come in here and uh, straighten it out, man. Remember to like, subscribe to the channel, become a member. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. That's where the bosses talk. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see.